How's it going guys? So in this week's Phantom K video, we're going to be having a look. You're going to get to know Phantom Cave as me, as a person, and let's get into it, folks. We have a lot to talk about in the next probably 10 minutes, so let's get into it. So the first question that I have for you today is talk about my history of being a fan. So basically in... So I basically, my history of being a Phantom fan is, it's only quite short right now. So I I firstly got introduced that also, this is also in, to do with question four, which we'll get to. I first got introduced to the Phantom at my local news agency in 2016. So that was pretty cool. Um, one of the months that I got introduced into the Phantom was, I'm pretty sure it was at the end of August, early September in 2016. And what I like about the Phantom, what I like about the Phantom is that when I first saw it for the first time, you don't usually, you don't usually get to see, like in country towns where I live, um, yeah, there's not many comic shops or bookshops or something like that. Um, you don't have many opportunities to try and get down to your local Sydney or your local city um, four hours away or something like that. So that it was pretty cool that I actually got to know, got to basically read The Phantom, and I still do read The Phantom uh, when they come out fortnightly. And I also order um, Phantom comics off the few publication website, which is at phantomcomic.com.au. So the second question, we are into the second question. So basically the second question is talking about my hobbies. So I'm just going to be railing off some of my hobbies. So right now I'm into, like, I've always been into music. I've always been into music. I love my music, like 80s, 90s, 70s. And like last year in COVID, I realized that I like um, doo-wop music from the 50s and 40s. Um, I like today's music, not as much, but I do like today's music. Um, one of my favourite bands, which would be The Cars, and another one of my favourite bands would be Van Halen. So I'm I'm a huge Van Halen fan. I love his music and... Some of the other hobbies I like, I like to draw, I like to be an artist and like get that creative juices flowing, that stimulation flowing. Um, I like photography, so I like, I got introduced to photography through black and white photography, I did that at school and obviously I like my books and my comics and comics in general. I think I've covered everything I like watching my sport team in the winters. I like to, well, I used to play cricket. Even if you can't tell I used to play cricket, I did. Um, I used to play soccer. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, sports I used to do, which I can't now because of certain uh, reasons. So we're moving on into question number three. Uh, so question number three is talk about my channel's history. So I first I first got into doing Phantom content back in, I think, 2016, somewhere around 2016 or 2017. I got around to basically making videos. And back in 2016, that was my first channel. I've had two channels in the last, what, five years, um, five or six years. So five to four years. So I've, the first channel ranged from, I think, 2016 to 2019. Um, I know a lot of people know the reasons why I basically quitted that channel. I, like, there's a lot of reasons that I could say that I didn't really continue on with that channel. I wish I had. I wish I hadn't done what I did. Um, but I obviously can't say that because obviously I don't want to give my secrets away. Um, but from then, from 2019 to right now, 2021, I have obviously, um, been on YouTube for like another three years. So that, that is pretty cool. Um, 
and I've just been trying to improve on my um, I've just been trying to improve on my content. I've been trying to improve on a lot of statistical errors. Um, I've been watching a lot of people like VidIQ, um, Ryan Walsh, which is, are like content creators, and they help people um, to do with content, and they help people try and figure out ways to what they want to create on, in the next few months on their channel. So that's how, that's basically my channel's history. I got into the Phantom in 2016, um, and I obviously, back in 2016, I didn't really, from 2016 to 2019, I had no clue what I was doing. I barely had a clue what I was doing, but in the last three years, I've just been, like I said, I've just been improving on what I've been doing and excelling at what I've been doing. And I've just, I've realized that in the last year or so, I've inspired a lot of people to create phantom content, which on YouTube, there isn't a lot of phantom content. So that is pretty damn cool. Um, and shout out to Ghost Warrior 38 and um, King Comics Arises and all those types of people and um, Chronicle Chamber. Chronicle Chamber, you're awesome, man. Um, the guys that at Chronicle Chamber and anyone else that I've missed, all the Indian fans, um, all the Australian fans, sh shout out to you guys, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel, obviously, and supporting everyone that what makes Phantom content able to be published online. So the fourth question, fourth question sort of in like goes into the first question, so how I got introduced to the Phantom, I obviously got introduced to the Phantom by myself, I actually, every fortnight, I get very, very excited for a new Phantom comic to get published and in my news agency. Um, so I, I basically live in a country area. So as I said, they, I don't have many bookshops. I don't have many comic shops. You'll be aware that I do say that a lot on the channel. I do say that a lot, but that... I, I got introduced by the Phantom by my own um, ways. Um, so I think I basically got introduced by the Phantom in discovering that the Phantom was actually available at my local news agency and I fell in love with the character. And then in the last like five or yeah, five years, I've just been constantly collecting, 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 collecting. That's all. It is just collecting. That's a joke for you. Um, and we have in question number five, if you're getting bored of this, you can go if you want um, or you can stay. Um, so in question number five, um, my favourite stories from The Phantom, they include the Karuna, the, I think the mystery in the Himalayas, that, Him that Himalayas story, which was, I think, one of the first ever published phantom stories that was in the newspapers back in the 1930s um, and 40s. So I also have a one of my absolute favourite stories, one of my absolute favourite artists, Full Circle by Lou Manor. It's a two-part series published back in 2017. Only I was only into the phantom by like nine minutes or nine um, months or something like that. So it was only a couple of months, so I then I then discovered this. It's in full colour. I'll be showing some pictures up on the screen right now. Um, and I absolute adore it. I love it. And if you would like to check out Lou Menna's, um interview, you can do that so down up here. I'll be putting a little card up here, so you can go watch it if you want to. Or if you haven't, you can catch up on all the interviews that we'll be um, basically producing and publishing in the next year or so. So, yeah. Um, so, I have some favourite artists, which is artists. So, in the sixth question, it's called favourite artists. So, so I've got people I've... Um, so, my favourite artists 
uh, Romando Felming, who is short name is Roy, I think. Um, I have people like Antonio Lemos, Jason Paulos, which Jason Paulos artwork will be going up um, in this room somewhere so very, very soon. And I think, yeah, there's a print up here somewhere of Romando Felming's uh, Lou Manor, as I said, with the full circle, it being one of my absolute diehard favourite books. Alex Tripp, a new artist on the scene, he's only done, he may only have done two covers for The Phantom, but they are spectacular. <laughs> oh god, I just made a whole wolf of that. Um, They are spectacular. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put that in there, just in case, so it was a joke. Um, so we've got Jeremy McPerson, I've actually met him at Supernova before, we've got Cesar Spadari, who unfortunately passed away last year, um, due to, I think, old age or something, I, that might be rude, I'm not trying to be rude, um, he's a great artist, and that's why he's in my list, um, and Luca Uberta, good job. So, question number seven is talking about how... I make my content thumbnails and production of my videos. So as you can see, I've got my mic here. Um, I'll be doing some B-roll images up here somewhere. And basically right now, I've got a computer over this way, who, which is doing this. It's recording the audio for this. Um, I've got a gimbal, which is set up on the... Um, it's basically a tripod gimbal, you can search that up. Um, over here I've got a, just a, just an old fashioned lamp, um, I've had for a long time. Over here I have another lamp, and up the top of me, probably up there somewhere, I've got my room light. So that's basically me, um, sometimes I'll grab it for use. Sometimes I'll have my DSLR like on top here and I'll be reviewing it. Um, that's basically only for reviews. Just sit down there. And I also use that camera for photography and taking photos, which I absolutely love taking photos. Um, I'm not too sure if that audio back there um, was visible. Um, but anyways, I'll be showing lots of pictures on my setups, uh, a lot of pictures um, to do with how I set it up, um, and a lot of pictures to do how I review comics and all that sort of stuff. And I recently, <laughs> I borrowed a new chair. I borrowed a new chair. Yes! So in question number eight, the reason why I started this channel was basically to share my opinion on why I like the Phantom. That's basically it. 